I'm going to be talking about the iCalendar Agenda, which is a open source JavaFX control to display, add, and revise calendaring objects from an ICS file based on the iCalendar RFC 5545 standard. For more information, including a free download, you can go to jfextras.org. So in this demo, I am going to show iCalendar Agenda's ability to import ICS files. In order to show this, I need to create an ICS file from a different calendaring system. For this demo, I am using Google Calendar. So here in Google Calendar, I have created a example group of events. Um, some of them are individual events, some of them are repeating events, some of them are full day events, and many of them are time-based events. And if I move forward a few weeks, you can see the ones that are repeating. In order to export this file, I do a few things here on Google Calendar and save it to my local computer and then I copy this file onto my local machine. Okay. Now let's take a look at the code that will display the agenda and allow us to import the ICS file. First we need to um, create a um, class that extends application. If you're familiar with JavaFX, this will be ordinary to you. And then override override the start method. And so inside the start method, I have created a vCalendar object. This is the parent object of the iCalendar FX model that is also found at jfextras.org. Jfextra I added a couple of necessary properties to it. And then we start setting up the controls. So we make the parent node and then we make the iCalendar agenda object which contains the um, vCalendar as a parameter and the agenda is what displays the vCalendar information and the agenda is added to the root of the parent which is a border pane. Then I set up some buttons and add them to H boxes to give us some functionality such as increase week, decrease week and then the import button and the export button. So here I have some event handlers to increase the week and decrease the week. And then we have the event handler to handle the um, import ICS file. So I've used the file chooser and when the button is clicked the file chooser um, gets activated and I um, try to open up the file. Okay, I'm moving through this pretty quickly. I'm assuming you're pretty familiar with JavaFX. So here's where most of it happens. I run the parse iCalendar file method from the vCalendar. I take the, it, which takes a path file, so I have to convert the file from the file chooser into a path. And if there are any errors, we, I set an um, exception handler to convert those to strings and log them as opposed to stopping execution. So if any of the um, events inside of the ICS file are invalid, they merely get skipped and we move on to processing the next ones. And I also have another event handler here for doing export, which merely takes the iCalendar information, copies it into a, another iCalendar, which gets the publish feature, the publish method, and then we write that to a file using a buffered writer. And then we take, we make a, a scene, and we add our root to the scene, and we show the scene. That's a simple demo. Let's give it a run. Okay, so here's all of our features. We're gonna, I'm going to click the import button and I'm going to go to where the file was stored. Which is right here. And then all of the events from the ICS file from Google are automatically imported and displayed on iCalendar Agenda. Okay, if I advance weeks, you see the repeatable ones are automatically um, put on the screen. And that concludes the demo for how to import ICS files into iCalendar Agenda.